Hi guys, uh, Matt here. I'm just going to do a quick prediction video for the uh, up and coming, soon to soon to be announced date. Anyway, I'm not sure when whether a date's been announced or not. Uh, Groves versus uh, Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, fight. Um, just to, to to comment on their on their last two fights in this um, boxing super series um, of the super middles. Uh, both good fights. Um, I think Groves versus Cox. Groves should always have won that fight. And the same for Eubank, to be fair, that. Uh, Ilderim or Yildirim. I don't know how to say his name, really. Um, but he he was terrible. He was flinging shots everywhere. His head was up in the air. Um, he was made for a fight like Eubanks. So they, for me, um, were intelligent in, in choosing their opponent. Um yeah, uh, nice performance from both guys. It's going to be interesting to see them fight. Um, what I'll say as my uh, initial prediction is George Groves to win. Haven't quite figured out how yet. Um, we'll see how I feel at the end of this video once I've, I've had a bit of a discussion and, and I've listened to my own opinions on, on, on the fight. So Eubanks, um, an overrated puncher. He's a good puncher, he's a solid puncher, but he's not a knockout artist. Um, despite his last fight being a big knockout, that guy set himself up for that shot um, and he was he was wild. Um, it was a really nice punch, um, well picked, but he's not he's not a single punch knockout artist generally. Um, what I will say is he's, he's a very effective puncher. He puts together uh, nice combinations, he moves his head whilst punching. Um, and he's got what I would say uh, is probably a genetic, genetic pass down from his, his from his father, and he's got a chin of absolute granite. Um, and and that's where it takes me into the next part, which is George Groves. Now, Groves to me seems to be less less of a boxer since leaving Adam Booth, but maybe more efficient in landing the shots he needs to and and finding the work he needs to. Um, he, he seems to have, have moved away from using the, the jab he had, which, which to, in my opinion, to my mind, was, was an excellent jab. Um, and relying on, on landing big shots, which he seems to be doing. But, yeah, this is where the difficulty comes in because Groves is a huge puncher. Um, he commits with everything he's got to the punches he throws. Uh, he he rotates nicely through them. His hands land correctly. He everything he, he needs to do to land right, he he does right. Um, for me, that that fight with Froch, the fact that Froch even got up from the punch that dropped him was beyond incredible. Um, Groves could not have thrown that punch any harder, and any other super middleweight in the division for me would have been done at that point. Um, what I would say. Is that if Groves lands that shot, it'll be an interesting test of Eubanks' chin because Groves is a naturally bigger man. Um, it's a hard one, but I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for a Eubanks point decision. I've just changed my mind. I'm gonna go for a Eubank point decision. Um, I don't think Groves is busy enough. I don't think he's evasive enough. To, to sort of do what Billy Joe did for the first half of their fight, um, Billy Joe Saunders against Eubanks. I don't think he's he's quick enough with the lateral movement or the or the counter punches. I think he's going to be looking for that overhand right all the time, and if he lands it, he's a hundred percent got a chance. But for the sake of making a prediction now, it may change nearer to the fight. I'm going to say Eubank to win on points. Ah. Yeah, I'm not. Mm, I'm saying it, and I'm just not convinced by it. I think. I think my prediction is going to be Groves to win by knockout, with the chance of Eubank winning on points. I don't think Groves has got it in him to beat him on points. So that's it, guys. That's my prediction. Um, I think it'll be an interesting fight. Um, Eubank will need to box nicely and throw a lot of combinations, move his head, and just make basically make that big right hand miss. Um, that's it guys, that's it from me, cheers, see you again soon, thank you.